There's a push to make sure Wisconsin has enough nurses responding to COVID-19. So why is one local hospital system sending nurses home without pay? Those nurses tell Fox 6 investigator Amanda St. Hilaire they're worried about money, but they're more concerned about your safety. Folks, we need to take this seriously. A field already hurting with more patients than people to treat them. Turn on any channel and you'll probably hear about shortages of health care workers. We need them all, he says. Governor Evers even signed an executive order allowing retired student and out of state nurses to jump in and be able to help fill in those positions that we need. But that need is news to the existing Wisconsin nurses sent home unpaid. We are all begging for hours. We want to protect the public from this virus, and they're simply not letting us. I was very upset, and I couldn't believe it in the times of a uh, pandemic when there are so many nurses needed on deck right now that I'm going to be sitting at home. I think it's really sad that um, we're not being used. Three Freighter South nurses allowed us to record their voices if we did not identify them. They're worried about losing what's left of their jobs. All of us have bills. We have families to feed and things to take care of. When elective surgeries were canceled, certain departments slowed down. And basically, after that all happened, we were told that we were now not needed because they didn't want to train us to work in different units or to do our new computer system that we have. First, their hours were cut. Then the furlough notices went out. These nurses are being sent home without pay and we could be training like other hospitals are doing. Larger hospital systems like Advocate Aurora have different COVID-19 policies. Employees in less busy departments can train and temporarily redeploy elsewhere. If there's no work, they get furlough pay. On Friday, Ascension announced similar pay protection programs. Freighter South's policy puts employees on unpaid leave. I have to call all my like my mortgage company, my car loan company, to see if they're going to offer any type of deferments because I simply can't afford that. We're just trying to take care of the public and they're doing nothing for us. It's disheartening to even see like Quick Trip is offering their employees like all these like incentives and crisis pay. And I work in a hospital as a nurse and we're not getting any of that. It's not as easy as finding a different hospital that needs help and working there for a few weeks. In a letter, Freighter South administrators say employees who work elsewhere during furlough will be terminated. Nurses worry when COVID-19 ramps up, there won't be anyone left to come back to work. I would prefer to stay here and work in my hometown and help the people in my community, but unfortunately, I don't have that option right now. I'll do anything you want. I'll work anywhere. We just want experience with this and they're not giving it to us, and it's frustrating. We asked Freighter South administrators for an interview. President and CEO Rick Schmidt called us back. We asked if we could record the conversation for broadcast. He said no, we could only record for note taking. Schmidt says during this pandemic, keeping employees at home is safer. He also says Freighter South hospitals already have more floor nurses working than they need. Schmidt would not answer questions about paying the employees he sent home or how his policies compare to other health systems. Instead, he said furloughed employees qualify for unemployment. We're not going to make anywhere near what we normally make. Add in Wisconsin's unemployment backlog and nurses say that recipe yields weeks of financial hardship. But the money isn't their bottom line. Not every one of us just goes to work for a paycheck. You know, a lot of us nurses, we are there because we care. It's not only my career, but it's my life and my passion. So seeing everything in the news of what's going on all throughout the country, it kind of hurts to know that I'm not out there making a difference. Amanda St. Hilaire, Fox 6 News. Raider South employees on furlough do get to keep their benefits like health care right now without paying premiums. But the policy says when they go back to work, they'll need to pay double to make up the difference. Waiting.